Morning guys, today is Wednesday, August 14th, part of my hashtag accountability August challenge. I stepped on the scale this morning and this is what it said. All right guys, 188.8, that is a loss of 0.6 from yesterday and that's a new low for this month. That's pretty good. I am excited, I will say. But you guys, tell me this, okay? Am I the only one, comment down below, am I the only one who before like I actually step on the scale, I, I do what I call, I prime the scale by stepping on it with like a weight or something heavy so that like when I step on the scale, I know that number I see is not the real number and then I set the weight down so that I can then step on the scale and see the real number. Like I always have this fear of if I step on the scale and it can't detect the change because it's too small, it'll just stay the same weight when really I could be like 0.2 pounds down. So what I'll do is I'll step on the scale with like a 10 pound weight and then simple math <laughs> dictates that when I put the weight down, I should step on the scale and see a number that is 10 pounds less than. You guys, I've been doing this, I mean, every day for this challenge, but every day for years, really. Like anytime I step on the scale, I always step on the scale with a weight in my hand. I don't know why. So today I step on the scale with a 10 pound weight in my hand and I swear it says 196.6. And I was like, oh, that means I should be able to step on the scale and weigh 186.6. No, like, 188.8, I don't know. I don't know if my weights are off balance. I put them on the scale before too and they do seem pretty true to weight. So I don't know how holding onto a 10 pound weight only nets like an eight pound loss. I don't know. I'm not looking too much into it, but it's just so funny. Like the rituals we have when it comes to weighing ourselves. I usually like to make these videos after I work out so that you can see what I did. But today I have to make it early because I have international meetings starting really early today. So this is actually before I work out. So that means you get to see the Zip Fizz Shake live and in person. And today we have, mm, oh yes, blueberry raspberry. Oh, now this is exciting. Oh geez, I don't know the last time I've rouletted this because the past few times I had this, I just straight up chose it. I was like, I want some blueberry raspberry. So this is a welcome surprise. All right guys, let's get ready to shake it today in three, two, one. Oh, look at that purple color, oh! To victory. Oh, blueberry raspberry. So I'm gonna finish that. I'm gonna be working out. Les Mills body pump today. I'm really going to try to finish the workout. I'm gonna drop my weight from the beginning so that I don't fatigue as easily. And I'm just gonna do a quick 30 minute workout today. How did you do yesterday? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.